Let's show you how to set up your iPad in remote mode. In order for the iFarm to connect in remote mode, the iFarm app to connect in a remote mode, you need to have a device that's currently connected to the grain cart as the primary operator. And you can see here that this, iPhone, or this iPad right here is the primary device. Um, so we go to, on this iPad, we're gonna connect, same way we would do normally, you go to settings, we're gonna hit the plus button, it's gonna search for all the iFarms in the area, connect to the closest one. And these work on a mix and match of devices. So if you have an iPhone or if you have a uh, Android device, you can connect in remote mode. There is no limit to remote users. Think of it as tuning into the same FM radio station. As long as you're within 400 feet, you can connect. So I have a pairing result that says successfully paired to device but the device already connected, so pairing as a remote display. When you connect to a device, an iFarm cart device, that's already connected to an iPad, it's going to say you need to be in remote mode. You can't have two primary users on the device. So we hit OK. We're going to give it a name. I'm going to call this one the same as the other one, iFarm Demo. And I'm going to hit Done. And you can see now I'm selected in remote display mode. So we go back to the display page and now we have the same live weight. The neat thing about the iPad in remote mode is if you have this iPad in the grain or the combine, you can actually zero out yours independently from the grain card operator. So you can calibrate your yield monitor. If you have a truck driver that has a phone, they can also zero out their scale independently without affecting anything on the grain cart operator to see how much is being loaded onto them. To get back to the main weight of the grain cart, once again, just hit clear. Now in remote mode, it's only showing you live weight. The only buttons that work in remote mode are tear and clear. All this information down here below, you can't really do anything with. It's just saying that that information can be used for if you were in primary display. So as a remote user, the only thing you see is live weight. If you were connected with a subscription version of the cloud, this information would fill in. Um, but for this example, we are just using the Bluetooth function only and not the internet connectivity to sync cloud information.